Oh, welcome to my little antenna video. This is, uh, um, I'm, I'm doing an annual on the uh, beam, and this is me cranking it down. Um, it has a tilt plate on it, so the step IR stays level all the way down. Well, I fell it relatively level. I can go around and investigate the whole thing, or inspect the whole thing all at once. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, here's, the, uh, here's the detail. All right, we took the antenna down for its first uh, checkup after a, uh, a fairly mild wind winter. So there wasn't a lot of, um, there wasn't a, a ton of wind or anything. But uh, um, as you may have seen in the previous, uh, um, previous videos, uh, this is a 2,500 pound winch. Uh, I think it's a 14, five three hundred or three five hundred that's it for something like that fourteen three two hundred anyway they changed the name of it it was a 2550 uh fulton and uh it actually has holes that fit so if you have a crank over and you need something that can handle more weight on the end you got to remember that the winch that comes with the tower and the tilt over base is designed to tilt the tower over it's not designed for whatever it is you put on the end of it that is 200 pounds worth that crap up there so, but it's, the crap radiates well, so I'm, I'm good. And of course I put a motorized winch to make it go up and down, or yeah, up and down. I really like to do that back here. I'm 71, it's gonna happen. Okay, so I ins inspected all the little connections of the trombones and things. This one was actually sticking out a little bit. So it's tightened and taped and in good shape. It's not going anywhere. The rest of them were surprisingly in good shape, really good shape. And uh, my rotor is a spid rotor or rack. I, th I don't know what the difference is. It's a pain in the ass to install. As you can see, there isn't a flat place. I had to uh, 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 buy this, which uh, allows it to, to mount on a post. Getting this straight, this so I can get this straight, this so it all goes through that collar up there, is a pain in the, oh man, that took a lot of work. Um, basically you kind of have to do it with the tower and, or with the beam not attached so you can turn it so you can see if it binds at all. But, uh, I finally took a, a set of calipers and made sure everything was the same size as far as how far in the screws were. Um, and that kind of did the trick. Um, it leveled it off enough that so it turns it. It's a good enough rotor that even if it binds, it's just going to, it's just going to force its way through. Uh, and of course it sticks out a little bit. So that's why there's a post here underneath the mount uh, and it's permanently attached um, with a U-bolt over on the other side there. You can see it. Um, so it can't, uh, it can't crank down be below this post. Uh, yeah, it leaves a, a loop of wire up here um, because it's, it's not cranking down all the way, um, which makes it even worse because this thing's now 200 pounds sticking out further, but um, but it works well. I tried a uh, uh, Yesu 1000 in here and it, it shredded at the first wind it came through. And uh, um, people say, well, a 2800 would do it. Nope, I don't want anything with a lock. And not, nothing with those kinds of gears. This thing right here, um, I think it would screw the tower in the ground before it would let go. Because we're looking at, uh, it's only 95 pounds for this antenna but it's 40 feet from one end to the other and a 20 foot boom. And um, you can't tell me that these don't have a lot of wind resistance, even though they're fiberglass, they're light, they flop around a lot, uh, but there you go. This is for six meters, assuming the band ever opens or when it is open. Um, this is the tilt plate doing its job just fine. As you saw in the crank down, um, it, it, uh, it had no problem just just stand level, pretty much. Um, so I went around and checked all the all the coax connections and you know making sure the tape was holding and all. Um, when I refurbished this, I changed out an awful lot of the cabling. I checked underneath the control plate to make sure everything was fine there. Um, you know, you check all the screws and make sure nothing's coming out, which has happened before. Oh, it kind of looks like. Another one right there would be handy. Um, of course, these are 
these have it clamped in place, but I'm gonna replace that. Um, it's the little stuff. This actually fell off. It's only held on with a couple of uh, um, little, uh, uh, I don't remember what they're called, but anyway, it's just cinched against the plate and I found it on the ground. <laughs> That's the hook that keeps it from, keeps the wind from uh, that hook, hooks onto that thing if the wind turns it or, or pushes it from the right direction. And you don't want the thing to go like flat horizontal, you know, flat vertical so the wind can really catch it worse. So that's called a, a, a car, car hook or something like that. Car lock, that's it. Anyway, the rest of this looks, looks good. Looks okay. Um, I, uh, I have the standoffs here, which was important since the thing um, cranks up and down so fast, uh, let it do its thing. It's taped in such a way that, you know, there's no, uh, no hooks in the coax. And I uh, got plenty of, plenty of room here for this to flop around, which is good. One thing I'm going to check in a little bit is I had to put uh, pins, um, put a couple of them here, but uh, there's pins. I even had to uh, put pins in these. Oh, that one's loose. I think I left it loose. What's this one? Yeah, it's loose too. That's good. I can, uh, um, I can check them and make sure they're, uh, they're, they're, they're cool and not bent inside. As you can see, it's, uh, uh, before I put the pins in, it would like slide around. You don't want that. It's like, I think I'm pointed at you. So I'll check the pins. They, they feel like they're in good shape. Um, so that's good. So two pins here and two pins up there. And, uh, and that's it. Um, it has not turned when it wasn't supposed to ever since. Here you can see the U-bolt better on the on that pipe that I have in there. It's just a steel pipe. It's a short one. Um, I am going to uh, um, somewhere on here, probably probably on this upper uh, upper thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna hook something up to it. That so um, uh, I have a uh, you can see over there the black cord um i've got a a pulley in that uh, heavy black nylon cord i'm going to have that on here that's so i can run some some wire antennas up and experiment and play if i want um it's funny the antennas don't seem to uh the wire antennas don't seem to affect the beam at all when it's all in operation but uh the beam affects the wires i have to retract the whole beam um and then the wires uh resonate where they're supposed to so uh, anyway, let's see what, if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I'm really careful when I crank the thing up and uh, tilt it up and down because the whole thing's now based on two bolts down to the bottom. If one of those was to break, the tower's gonna go that way. So I kind of keep my feet as far outside of that triangle as I can because if it snaps, um, I don't... <laughs> I would be upset, but I'd be up more upset if I had to go to the hospital. Don't want that. So, uh, anyway, I haven't counted how many turns it takes to get it up, um, but it is a lot. And the uh, the clutch gets really hot putting it down. I could smell it. Um, so, your best bet is to take some time. Give yourself time letting the thing down. Always do things slowly, meticulously. Stop from time to time. Check what's going on. Um, you know, make sure you didn't forget something. Uh, it happens to me like every time. And I have a piece of wood here. Um, be really careful when you're uh, when you're um, holding something up uh, like an aluminum tower. Okay, you'll notice that it's underneath the, the uh, it's underneath this. It is not touching. Um, the, uh, well, it may be touching it, but it's right on the edge. Um, if you let the let the weight go in, push in on the uh, on those rungs there, they'll bend in, and then the tower won't it won't uh, go up and down properly. Um, uh, and of course, I'm not talking about that from experience or anything. No, no, no. So anyway, so yeah, just make sure you put it on the on the edge like that, and not in the middle. So let's see. Yep, I'm gonna check those pins and I'm going to uh, find something to make sure I lock this in place over here and put the pulley on it. And I think I'll be ready to pop it back up. 
We're in Arizona. This is first thing in the morning. Um, and it's already starting to get to 95, approaching 100. And I'm at 6,000 feet. So we do this in the morning. Uh, the sun is low and, and uh, I have breakfast to look forward to. So anyway, leave any, uh, any comments or, or ideas um, or experiences or questions in the comments and I will, uh, I will answer them. I'm, uh, I'm on, uh, on the computer an unhealthy amount of time. Uh, so, so there you go. So there's the setup. And uh, I've had it for two years now, reconditioned it. Uh, it had been in Arizona sun for 12 years with another ham who is now uh, now uh, passed along. And uh, uh, basically the rotor and, and antenna came from, from uh, his estate. Um, so anyway, I have a ball with it. And the thing doesn't crank up all the way. I don't crank it up all the way on purpose. It's a 55 foot tower and I crank it to 45 feet. That extra 10 feet isn't gonna make any difference at all. And um, it stays interwoven quite a bit. So if a strong wind comes through, um, it, the tower's not even thinking about straining. So anyway. And this is uh, cranking the antenna back up. I, 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 did, I could have, <laughs> of course, shown the other one in reverse, but um, notice it stays level until it gets to the very top and kind of snaps into place. Um, that, uh, that tilt plate made it so in an hour and a half, I did everything that you see here between the inspections and cranking it down, uh, working on it, cranking, tilting it back up and cranking it up. Uh, I can do it all by myself. I don't need any help from any neighbors or a ladder, which is the most important part. All right. So let me do a couple of things that probably weren't, weren't as noticeable from a distance like that. You know, you saw we put these boards on it. Okay, there's no way to climb the thing from this side. Uh, some ingenious little kid would find a way. But the other side, it's easier to climb. Um, for the first uh, 19 years, I didn't worry about it. But now we have neighbors moving in, and they have grandkids. So... So, got to put some boards on. These are, uh, uh, it's just a regular 8 by 8 by 10 stripped down the center. And it fits a 55 foot tower just fine. You yeah, a couple of couple of pieces of it that I could do. I used to have one uh, on this side too. But when, once I put in the winch, I didn't need to do that anymore. Or the hoist, I should say. It's different. I don't know what. Anyhow, um, the other thing is, since this is... Since this is, somebody could plug this in and, and cause total chaos because if you, if this thing is easily capable of ripping the, the antenna apart if it go, went up too high, I have a, uh, I have a lock that fits on the, uh, fits right on the end of the plug. So uh, when I'm not using it, that's not, there's no way to plug it in, um, which is good. And then of course I keep the keys inside. Um, and then I wrap this stuff up in, uh, around the uh, inside of this just to keep the wires and things, you know, out of the way. And, uh, and to keep the weather off of it, because it's not really designed to be used outside, um, I have this, which is a, which is a tire cover. Um, I mean, you can use anything that, that works. Uh, this is a tire cover that didn't fit the tires when I ordered them. So uh, they're now, uh, it's now used to, to cover this up. It works great. I've used it for a couple of years now and uh, it does a good job. Uh, some uh, some rodent thought it was cool, built a nest in there for the winter uh, and then I just strap it down. That strap's getting a little a little weird in the spot. Replace that. Stick this in here, and uh, eh, this is the hardest part. Ah, now the wind won't take that anywhere, and we're good. Um, and I put the, uh, the pulley up there, and what I did is uh, one end is permanently attached over here so it, won't, it can't slip out. This side's attached to the to the antenna and I've got it all 
set up on the end um, with a, uh, a keychain uh, circle thing. They seem to work really well. They're very strong. Anyway, um, I'll use that to pull it up and then uh, wrap the extra around. I've got it set up. Um, I'm going to set that up right by the winch to remind me to loosen all of that before I uh, crank the thing up and down because uh, uh, that can be a little tough having this pulling on it. So anyway, that's the installation. And uh, a little later today, I'm gonna pull up a, an antenna that gets on 80 meters. Don't, don't tell anybody I'm getting on 80. I'm only 71. I'm not old enough for 80 meters. But, um, but anyway, that's the tower installation.